Yama Prestani. The world is changed. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. Sauron, the enemy of the free peoples of Middle-earth, was defeated. But they were all of them deceived. In the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a Master Ring to control all others. And into this ring he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. Welcome to Empire Blade, Rampant, and welcome back to my Mordor campaign for the Divide and Conquer with AGO and Sus Sub Mods. We're gonna continue the stuff from last time. I am gonna try and have us defend Lair Hope. We might be able to do a little bit of damage to this army. I expect it to fall, so that we then have to send the Witch King of Angmar over here. But Things are going well against the Elves of the Woodland Realm as we have been pushing into them rather nicely. I think we can get to the Andrews Hall today. I think we can. Uh, we're pretty close to it. We're still going to have to deal with the Veil a little bit for right now. But for the most part, we're focusing still on the Woodland Realm. I'm going to have just one army at least here. Try and focus on you guys. Now, we only have this one spot. But I can at least... Let's do this. We'll kind of have you sit up like here. Maybe you guys just kind of up on this hill. And I might actually be able to get a decent amount of kills from this. Maybe. We'll start that up here and see. Because right now, I just want to see, can we do some decent damage with my archers? As for the most part, my archers are actually not the worst. These guys don't have a ton of armor. So the Veil should take a decent amount of damage. The more we weaken this army, the easier it's going to be next turn for me to start sieging this area with Angmar. So the Witch King of Angmar. Because like this, army, this unit right here, I've killed a couple guys already just while they're trying to get to the ram. Yeah, they've already lost like 30, 40 guys there. That's 3% uh, of their army. Like, I think the auto-resolve was probably going to just slaughter us, but I can actually do some good damage, so we'll do what we can. So they're through the gates. Let's see, we've now been able to so far do 8% of their forces in damage. Not bad. I'm almost out of ammo on so my archers. I'm holding you here, because you tend to have a little bit better morale than the other units. Try and just hold them the best you can, because at the moment we're just trying to see what I can do with my archers. This one guy here... I might throw you into melee now if I can. Yeah, I'm gonna try and have it so that you... I think you have, like, one more volley. No, you're out. Okay, let's have you make your way up here. Try and hit this army. Hit that unit. And let's pull my captain back here. Because he still has some ammo. Let's pull him away. Have the unit that has no ammo now rush into melee and hold. And let's see, number-wise now, 8 to 12. Not that bad. But yeah, you guys form up. Start firing and see what we can do. As I'm hopeful we can get to 20%, I'm going to say. I can I can see 20%. I think that makes sense for this fight here. They might recover back down to like 15%. But if we can get that number, I'm not I'm not that uh, uh, upset about that, honestly. Not with these three shitty little units. So you guys tried. You tried your best. We've been able to get it actually to about 25%. So about a fourth of their army has died now at this point. I'm almost out of men now. I don't think we'll be able to get much higher than that. I think they're probably going to recover to like 20, 21. So not bad. A fifth of their army died to this art force. Not the worst. Now what we can do is I'll be taking the Witch King of Angmar. He'll be making his way over here, sieging this area and reclaiming it now that we've lost it. I'll keep having him just focus on the Veilsmen. All my other armies are going to keep focusing on to the Elves. Which does remind me, and I'm kind of curious about this. I'm doing really well against the Woodland Realm uh, Elves right now. And a little bit of Lothlorien. We have been fighting them a little bit. But there's also still the High Elves. If I remember correctly, they've been kind of getting their asses kicked. 
So maybe we won't have to really worry about Elrond. I believe Gorfindel is technically in that faction too. Uh, I don't believe we'll have to worry about them. I would kind of, I would love if Glorfindel and Elrond are still alive by the time I get over to there. And I can actually fight them. I would love that. Now, one thing I also want to remember to double check is, yeah, it does seem like you guys are getting your ass... Oh, thank you for giving me money for that. Um, it does seem like Haradrim is actually getting their asses kicked by these guys. Same with um, Canned. Like, right now, you guys are doing amazingly well down here. Like, way better than I like you to. So back up here. Um, I do have enough movement that I can have it so you start sieging little. And, oh man, this is going to be fun. I now have some Ola guy in this army. I'm so happy about that. Finally get to showcase some of these guys. And I have some normal trolls too, which I'm not opposed to that. Okay. Keep grabbing more of these men in Duenberg. Uh, try and retrain what men you can right now if you're able. And then I'll have to keep sending more guys up this way. As again, it seems like for the most part... Oh, hello. I respect you, Rohan's my enemy. Doing something. But I think we're pretty okay. I've got a decent army here. I think I will trust Leofric to be able to defend this. Uh, do keep trying to retrain the men you have around there. So we occupied that. And then I love that we're going to have some money for attacking Leofric. Okay, so let's see. So right now, up here, we're trying to focus on attacking you guys right now. Ooh, who are you? God, I want to play the elves so fucking badly. Um, Galtan, I'll have you start seeking him here as well. And then I had uh, at least have these two join you. I then also had Kamul, who's going to be taking his way over here as well. Uh, I've got these two that can join up with Kamul. Let's see. Did we have anybody else? We did not. Oh, yeah, Zagar. Before I bring Zagar up here, I just, yeah, I want to wait one second. I actually want to send him up here for a second. Because I want to build some watchtowers around here. Because this land's actually still all mine up here. So I can build some watchtowers up to about here. I know I'm not going to be pushing into here just yet because that's Dale. But it does mean I can get some good vision. And I can actually just have Zagar go straight up over this way. I think that's what we'll do with him. Um, all these guys are still kind of pushing forward. I'll have you just kind of gather together men around here who will keep pushing forward as reinforcements. But I think, let's see, can you... Get ready for fighting. About half a stack. You don't want five guys. You can use one more. You can use three more. Let's do this. So, right there in the Shivos. Ah, that's seven of you. You can use five. So, in Kamul's army. And then Kamul. Check if they can merge. They can. And then one of each of you into each of these armies. So, right there. And right there. And then I would say. Because I don't want to accidentally lose too many generals, I will try and command Balaknasa uh, Sunfire, I would say, with his army, as he's got two generals in here. I would love for you to... Oh, actually, ooh, maybe I should control the Get ready for fighting. Actually, I think I should control... Yeah, no, you're a cav unit. You are a cav unit. You are more likely to die than any of these other guys. But let us push in here. So five to one odds. We've got about almost 10,000 men here or orcs, that are pushing on in to deal with all of these elves. A lot of archers, a lot of their basic archers, so they're not insane in melee, at least. They do have some of their better units, but I think for the most part, we should be able to do well here. You guys are all commanded by AI. Let's do this! Hopefully, we do not take that much damage. Then we can just immediately keep making our way over and start making our way over to Thandurul's halls. That's going to be great when we can finally start pushing in there. As they really do not have that much land left. They don't. So, once this is out of the way, we'll go for we'll start making our way towards the capital first. So we'll go northeast. Although maybe I should go no mm, I'm debating. I could go west first. But I kinda I wanna hit the capital. I I really want to hit the capital. You guys all be kinda more defensive initially, I would say. Uh catapult, you're actually kinda fine where you are initially. I'll just make sure I grab all of my skirmishers, group them all up, and then my cavalry. All of you guys up, start the plummet. And then let's see what they're gonna do. As of the moment, it seems like some of you guys are pulling away towards the city center. I do love that now that I know you can use these places, I wish the AI used them more. At the moment, they really don't usually. Uh, the general, I believe, yeah, that's the general right there. Is this guy with 54 units? I think right now, let's try and move you up a little bit more. Uh, I want to make sure we have enough. Well, we only have the one catapult, so we need to make sure we actually have enough to break open the gates. Uh. You don't have ballista towers. Oh, they have a ballista. Um, okay, and they have fire arrows. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Fuck! 
Okay. I have to wait now. Because now my allies have to be the ones that open that up for me. I have no siege equipment. So, um... Yeah. Fuck, I have to rely on my allies to make breaches. Shit. Um, oh no, okay, you have siege equipment. Can I pick it up? No, nope, you have that. Okay, you know what? We're gonna move my army over here. As I'm gonna go wherever they have the siege equipment. Oh my god. So, um... <clears throat> Balknar Sunfire has, uh... Done a lot. He's also lost half of his fucking army! Like, my dude! What the hell? Like, okay. My guys are making their way over here. I'm slowly making my way over to try and help. But uh, at the moment, I don't have an avenue in. There, like, there's this ladder. I can use the ladder, which I'll probably do. I'll probably have you guys try and rush on in this way if you can. Start trying to take some ground. It does seem like they're trying to break wall section, so I might be able to just run in too. But, um... Can you not die, please? Good, I'm going to try and tell you to be defensive. I don't think it's going to really fucking work, but hey... Uh, we're trying to. I'm gonna get my archers to run up here a little bit more. I might send my cab over that way to try and help you. But at the moment, you... I, I feel like Balgadar Sunfire is just gonna die and we'll have to recover him because, um... At the moment, let me see. Uh, if I do this... Oh, he's actually smart! He's on the walls right now. He's not fighting in the clusterfuck over here. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's deciding to fight on the walls where it's a bit safer. Good. Well... You could get shot at by a tower, as we have seen that happen before. Can I still see you? You've got a... Oh, your bodyguard is practically still... Oh, you're right up in front. I wouldn't do that, Balakna Sunpai, if I were you, but, um... As all of your men are walking away from you. Oh, my God. I love it. I love that he's just... Oh, no, okay, he's, he's running away. Okay, he's listening, he's listening. I don't know where the fuck he's going, but he's trying. I'm mean, gonna hope you don't die. You're doing well over here. Like, you have yourself effectively killed 40% of their army on your own, which is honestly rather impressive. I, I'm, I'm gonna commend you for it, man. I'm still bringing my forces over. I'm gonna start bringing my infantry in this way. Basically, all my infantry kind of run on in here, go for uh, go for those uh, ballistas initially, and then start making your way to the city center. I'll have it so that once you guys do that, try and have one of you open the gate or something, like uh, wherever this guy is. I'm going to have you try and, like, uh, well, this gate's about to break. So what we can do is I can just take my skirmishers, bring them up this way. Have you run on in through. You'll take the city center. And, honestly, I probably will just start putting my archers up on these little walkways. Start shooting them from there. Because so far, they've lost over half, almost half their army. Lost 17% of our forces. Balagnar Sunfire's entire force is dead. He's still alive, somehow. Okay. We've almost captured the city now, because, let's see, about almost two-thirds of the enemy army has died. I'm starting to try and move my skirmishers in now. Reinforcements are helping me take the city center any second now. My cap, I'm going to have you try and go in around this way to try and make your way over to help out around here. Because at the moment, uh, I still, I'm surprised that you're still alive. At the moment, it seems like it's just this big blob over here. A couple guys here. And a couple stragglers over here. That seems to be all that's really left here for the most part, out of all of their forces. So, uh, also, where's the entrance for these? That's what I've always been curious about. It's like, where's the entrance? Because right now I'm having so that my uh, javelins, you'll go here, sit in the city center. But I'm trying to have you guys go on to the tower sections. I'm just curious, oh, is it like right here? I feel like that's got to be where they start uh, going up onto the wall sections. It's just the woodland scouts are kind of in the way, so my cav... Try and tell you to actually hop out over here. Try and kill this unit off, so we can try and capture the city center. I don't know how, but Balaknar fucking Sunfire survived with 18 goddamn guys. Wow, I am honestly surprised by that. We've been having some really bad luck with my dudes just continuously dying when I let them be controlled by the AI, and somehow Balaknar did fine. Did. did absolutely wonderful. He lost over 90% of his army. Um, but he did fucking work. Like, they only have a couple guys left. The general's still alive. We haven't even killed him yet. He's right here. I think. So they've got a unit here. And they've got a, like... Oh, he's the only one up now. Yeah, it's definitely this unit right here. How many guys are in it? Two? 
There's one. Oh, come on. I keep seeing it. There we go. Emr uh, Emrathor. He's finally dead. He's got like one other guy that was in his bodyguard, but now he's out of the way. Yeah, there he goes. Okay. How many men did we lose overall? So, Balak and our Sunfire by far lost the most. Um, lost about a fourth of our army overall. Not the worst. Not the worst. But somehow, you did actually die. That's good. So, we've now been able to claim uh, Inundolin. So, we've now been able to claim this area. We can now make our way uh, after we regroup. Uh, I'll probably leave Balignar Sunfire here for a time. Let him kind of watch over this settlement and get some reinforcements before he continues to group up with us. I'll take everybody else and just keep moving north. I still think we will push towards... I could. Instead of having it so that we only focus on the Woodland Realm, I could have it so that the Zagar, who does have a full stack army, goes to try and hit Dale. I could do that. I don't know if I will, though. Like, Part of me really wants to just make sure, focus, kill off all the elves, just kill these elves off immediately. Don't, li don't delay, don't let them have a chance to survive. Just finish them off once and for all. If I do that, it's not a bad idea. But that does mean I have I'm taking so many goddamn casualties every single time. And why like literally the first battle that we didn't lose fucking everybody. So repair that. Make sure you get the Shrine of Melkor. Um Kamul, I'm gonna have you merge your stuff. Merge your stuff. Merge your stuff. And then Balaknar. Wow, okay, no. It wasn't just him too. It was Balaknar and the, the sycophant both survived. Wow, I gotta commend you guys for that, honestly. I will have it so we'll do. Oh, I can't move right now, actually. You can. Shivos can move up a little bit. Um, let's move up here. Little watchtower. Yeah, because they do have a city right there. I can actually go up a little bit right next to it, so we can be right here. We have completed an objective. Objective complete. So we've got three generals bodyguard there. Ouch. Ooh, that's a oh, that's a good mining network. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so we'll have it so that you'll keep trying to push up here, because the... I can actually have Zagar go here. No sleeping here! I'll probably have you help this area out, honestly. Go over there, claim that. Because if we have you push up, and have you take uh, Eskaroth, that wouldn't be the worst idea. Because at the moment right now, this is just all Dale. Dale themselves... They're not doing the worst. Territorially, they're probably at like seven regions, it looks like. I know they're at war with um, Rune, who I'm still trying to grab my agent, so I'm trying to bring you, uh, over to try and talk to them. Because I still want to try and see, can I buy this land from you guys? Because I want to slowly buy the land I want to take from you guys, because eventually I'm going to kill you. I, I This is supposed to be a world conquest uh, throughout, so eventually we're going to have to take everything. And that includes the land that my allies control too. So I think it would be, if I can... Yeah, buy some land from them occasionally wouldn't be the worst idea. I'd kind of love if we could do that. Um, oh yeah, you're finally making your way back over here and be retrained. Can you retrain here? No, you can't. Sadly can't yet. I still wonder if I'm going to actually want to grab some of these like Sauron's Will units at some point. I probably should start grabbing like the Black Uruks and Halberds more often uh, if I really want to have some more elite armies for some of my units. Probably would be a little while until we get to that point, really. Uh, actually, if I just... Yeah, if I just upgrade this. Let me just upgrade this, actually, in uh, Barodur, and then I'll be able to actually retrain that unit. I'll be good with that. Um, on that, uh, can I still can I upgrade that yet with you guys specifically? So I know with the... No, that's right. The Black Numenorians, yes. I need the Blacksmith. Ooh. Blacksmith, get it. Get it. Get it. We've got the money. I want to make sure we can upgrade it and so that we can actually have more than just the Temple Wards and everything. I want to be able to get the Cab units for sure as well. I think, though... For right now, this is it for this turn. I'm going to probably go around, do some more um, construction and recruitment to keep sending things up to this front right here. Next turn, I'll we'll be able to very easily start sieging this area. Uh, I can probably kind of you move one space. So basically have it so Ganaltan, Shivos, and Zagar push on in, claim this area. Then I'm just going to blitz the ca their capital. I'm going to do that. I think I basically can leave you two alone. Leave you guys here, and then have it so that I'll bring some reinforcements over, and you can try and go over to this city. I think that's what we can try and do. 
Uh, Witch King, you're still going to be focusing on the Veil, so as soon as you take Leyad Holt, you'll make your way, turn your back, uh, turn back around, and go for Bjorn's Hole. Hopefully, we have some better luck this time against the Skin Changers. Let's see, candidate for adoption, who sucks? No, I'm not going to accept you. Um, let's see, what else we got? Didn't report, doing okay there. Attachments. Search and report. Report. Oh, good, we just finally finished some of those. Because I do need to keep sending these CAV units over to Call Sauron. So let's bring you guys over this way. And then what we'll do is, let's see. Yeah, I'll just have it, so we'll just take these guys out. Just take them out, put you in, and then just you two go back over here to Minas Morgul. Let's have you just be ready to be retrained as soon as you're able, because these guys have a lot of chevrons, a lot of experience. I want to make sure we keep that. Lines announced. Okay, interesting. Why not? Sure. Okay. Let's keep making our way forward, because now we can start at least sieging this area. So, Shivos, let's have you start sieging this area. Hold off for a second. Wait until Ganotan and... Oh, you can't attack from that angle. Fuck. Um... Okay. Zagar, go this way. I... actually kind of want to pull you back. Let's do this for now. Uh, because I want to use Ganotan, I think, instead, for instead of Shibos. Um, I can't have him properly move now, but let's, uh, let's do this. Let's like, put you over here, build a watchtower, um, and then next turn I'll have you move over this way. You'll take over command of that fight. Then I can lead with Zagar and with you to attack the area. You guys need to keep trying to wait over here. I do think let's push into Leidholt. Let's uh, take this back from the Vale. I don't think this will be that bad. It's just a captain. And I've got some pretty decent units in here. We also outnumber them three to one. So let's push in here, claim this back, because also the city isn't the most uh, like yeah intricate in the layout. I should be able to very easily just kind of walk up my archers. I think they had primarily just all infantry. I think they had a couple, maybe a couple javelins, but mostly infantry. And I can just throw in some of my. Uh, Oh, my trolls, my armor trolls, my little guy. I love them. They look so fucking badass. Um, let's have it so... Oh, I also have these tunes, but I'm actually not going to use you that often, honestly. Um, I think at least in this fight... Wow, I have so many archers. Okay. Uh, let's have you be the one that moves up first. Let's have you go here, start the battle, move up there, and then let's do this. So, like, have you guys go, like, right here, and then all of you guys go, like, right here. I think I'll have, like, one of you maybe kind of... Go around the side here. I only have the one cab unit now. Um, I'm going to be guys here. Because it's only now the Witch King of Angmar is my cab unit. I need to get some cab in here to help replace that unit. Uh, let's make sure you guys turn skirmish mode off. And then javelins move up here as well. Let's see. Oh, they have no archers. <laughs> they have no fucking archers. Oh, God. Really? This entire army's infantry. Wow, I'm gonna slaughter them. Like, I wanted to showcase our uh, new Oda guy and our trolls and everything, but uh, at the moment, I can literally just sit here and I've killed a third of their army so far with just my skirmishers. Uh, I'll let you guys keep shooting here for a little bit longer until you're out of ammo at this point, honestly. Let's like, move you guys just a little bit closer. You guys can move up a little bit more. I can't really hit the guys in the city center as much. I can try and move you guys here to do that because most of their men are here now. Gates are down. I'll have it so that you guys will... I think actually now it might be a good time to push forward. Like, you guys, drop your stuff. And then let's have it so initially the infantry goes in first. Then the trolls. So once the trolls are in, you guys can then break this area here. There's only some light Bjorn warriors. They, should last, uh, they shouldn't last against our trolls. So get you guys in here to help out with that. Let's kind of speed up more. Because then we can try and get my archers in here um, before they use up all their ammo. And then have them shoot the city center. Because at the moment, that's the thing that's kind of in our way. So, let's have it so you guys are now fighting them. Bring in the older guy and everybody else. Uh, you also don't need your formation. If we continue like this, you guys at least keep you. trying to see if you can hit people in the city center. I don't know if you can, but you might as well try. Go right there. And then my... Let's see. You guys can move up a little bit more. You'll be moving in soon anyways. This unit is at... Let's see. Is it 24? And now he's broken. Awesome. Okay, so let's have it so... Uh, keep trying to move up here this way a little bit. Kind of block of the way, and then all my trolls kind of just chill here. Uh, they do have another unit over here, which is just some- oh, they have one skirmisher unit! Wow! Wow, I didn't realize that. Okay, so you guys here, line it up, form up there. I'll have my, uh, let's see, let's have the javelins kind of go here too. 
I want you to try and throw what you can at those guys. Just kind of go there, there. Actually, no, you guys should go around. Yeah, you guys try and flank around there to be able to hit them. And then I can hit them in the backside there. They are shaking rather uh, a ton, so we should be able to push through them here. Because honestly, what I'd like to do is have it so that I can have it so right now. You guys are finishing off the archers, or the skirmishers. The foresters, they are also actually a spearman too. Yeah, let's have you three finish them off. Then I can probably bring you guys around with the javelins to try and break them from behind. Because the moment these Veil Defenders aren't doing the best, archers are slowly making their way on enough. Okay, you guys are actually struggling here against their Veilsmen and everybody. I'm going to bring my trolls in just from this side. My uh, javelins are trying to get in position over here. I'm going to bring the Wish King over to this side as well. Archers are in position, but they can't really shoot this unit, which is kind of irritating. Uh, but if I think if I bring you guys just up here, bring the trolls in to help out as well, I think we should push through this unit. So, yeah. Don't just kick my guys around, please, though. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, now they're broken. Because you guys have a uh, Frighten effect? I can't remember if you guys do. Uh, yes, you do have a Frighten effect. Awesome. So, yeah, if I would have just rushed in a little bit sooner, I wouldn't have lost as many of you guys, sadly. Okay. Keep pushing in. Keep trying to run this guy down. Let's have you guys, uh, if you can. I'd like for you to try and maybe get a little bit closer so you can shoot those guys. Like, the Veil's been a trying hard, but not getting anywhere. Javelins are just about to start opening up on them in the back. They've lost 89-90% of their forces now, so it should just be a matter of time until they break here. I think honestly one or two good volleys. And they are in the safe center, so they can't break, but... Uh, there's only about 70 of them left. 60, 64. They're going down pretty quickly. There we go. Only lost 145 guys, being able to reclaim this area. Nice. Okay, so now what we'll do, um, I'll probably leave some of the archers, I have so many fucking archers. I'll leave some of the archers here, just watch over the settlement, and then I'm probably gonna turn back around, make my way back over to Bjorn's Hall. I really do not need the basic Dolgodur archers, the basic ones I don't need, so I'll kind of leave them here to watch over the city for us. Uh, I do have some more guys in Druenberg that we can pick up to keep making our way over, and hopefully... So I'm probably gonna have to. I do have to be careful that the skin changers did actually have quite a bit of damage to my troll catapults last time. So I don't want my skin change the my uh, my old guy and trolls to fight them. I actually want to make sure we save my ammo for the skin changers because they don't have a shield stat. They don't, so they should die pretty easily for that. So let's have it. So they hold us back under our control. I'm just gonna sack it and got some money for that. Uh, again, just keep rebuilding the Melkor shrine. Then I'll leave. Yeah, just all these guys right there. Leave them here. Hello! Get the fuck out of my way! Oh, Do you God. want to die? <laughs> Poor bastards. Uh, and I need to grab just like four units here. I know I was seeing some more up, or it was. Oh no, we've got some men over here now. Nice. So many free attributes. Let's yeah, send uh, some guys. Actually, I'm just gonna grab some proper infantry, like these four. Like these guys right here. Yeah, just grab these four units. You're gonna be the ones I'm gonna try and bring up to uh, help us out when we're pushing into uh, Bjorn's Halls. Uh, let me just get rid of this guy first. I just want to make sure we kill you off, make you sure that you're out of my way. And then I can try and make it so we'll make my way over to start sieging Bronze Hall. Next turn, I'll take one more settlement from the elves. I, I want to get to Thranduil's Hall today. I think we're really close. I know this is not going to take that long. It's the other fight with the elves that might take a while. That's the only one I can really think of here. But like with this army here, honestly, just group up all of you, all of you, start the battle. And then I'm going to have it so, like, you guys just kind of move up a little bit right there. And then my archers. You guys up right there. Infantry and everybody. I think they're... Are they going to advance on us? It does look like they are. Honestly, I'm probably going to be treating my trolls as kind of cab anyways. I think that's the best way to kind of utilize them. Let's get you guys over here. They are shooting us. They actually have some archers. Okay, so they have some skirmishers, which I'll try and get rid of. It's probably those horse archers. So let's grip my cab and my trolls. If you guys kind of go up this way and start trying to hit this unit. These poor, poor horse archers. Just a giant fucking troll rushing at you. Also, the Witch King Vangmar as well. Let's see. Those guys are already shaken. Not that bad. I've got like one longbowman. 1% to 2%. Uh, if you can't catch them, just ignore them. Just go for the woodland uh, warriors then. Kill that guy. Then keep pushing forward. Because I'll probably have it so that at the moment you guys are... Oh, they're already routing. Yeah, already wavering. Should be able to easily defeat them then if I just bring my trolls over. Those will all start breaking. I want to deal with the archers first though. So let's like just bring you guys over to the longbowmen. These guys are all broken, so I'm not going to worry about them, but just kind of rush on in. Come on, break them. He's at 49. Come on, shout out this poor bastard. Who's the captain? 
The captain for this army is... This unit? Yeah, it's one of the Woodland Warriors who's currently being shot at, so he'll be dead any second now. There we go. He's now out of the way. Okay, so we'll just start kind of keep pushing forward. I can probably sit on the border now between Bjorn's Halls and uh, Duneburg. I'll wait until I get those reinforcements from down south, and then we'll start sieging it. Um, I believe they're one turn away, so we can then grab them, start making our way up there. I might seize that area for a bit, honestly, just because it does have a full stack army in there. I could wait and seize them out, or we can try and see if, because this is actually a pretty decent army. I've got some trolls. I only have my one cab unit. Uh, in a city, that's not going to matter as much, though. I've got a decent amount of archers, some javelins. I don't have any artillery pieces. That's the one issue I don't have right now. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. It, they might also move their troops out before I even get there. possible. Which I kind of hope they would do that, honestly. Let's see. I'm going to have it so good. Let's have you go sit right there. Go sit there. There's actually some mercenaries, but they're just wargs. I don't care about wargs. Um, but this unit here... Technically, one more turn. Hmm, Breeze Under Siege. Actually, this reminds me. I'm going to show check over here. Oh! Ah! Interesting! Okay, I was going to check and see what's going on with the High Elves, but didn't, never mind about that, I guess. Um, what else is going on around here? Nothing really there. I think it's probably recruitment that's queues stalled. I didn't notice. I forgot about that. Uh, that should be fine, though. Okay. So, now, again, what I want to do right now is over here. Shivos, I will actually have you uh, break your siege. Because, oh, actually, there's one more spot you can actually go to. So, never mind. Uh, go right there. Perfect. Actually, that works out better. Because you can go there. Then I can have Zagar from the north. Perfect. So, we have all of you guys work together. I would say, okay, so I want to lead the assault with... I can't be with Zagar. I'll say with uh, Ganeltan. I'll lead the assault with Ganeltan. I'm honestly kind of wanting Shavos to get some of his men killed. Some of these guys are really low uh, in the amount of men they have. So let's push on in here. Hit this city. Because literally, uh, let's see. They have so many generals bodyguard. Oh, you're just a woodland, uh, woodland sentinels. Ooh. And I think you guys are the same one. You guys have this bodyguard. So that's not that bad. I was expecting this to be a worse bodyguard. Like, imagine if this was 131 guys of this general's bodyguard unit. That would, that would suck. Uh, Elven King's bow guard. Oh, really good units in here. We do outnumber them immensely, so I'm gonna hope that's not gonna be that bad. Like we've got eight thousand guys here for they out, we outnumber them literally ten to fucking one. So let's push it on here, try and kill these elves as much as we possibly can, and then I think depending on how long it takes for this, we can hit Thranduil's halls today. I'm gonna burn that fucking place down to the ground. And then in the next video, it's probably going to be kind of the cleanup. That it'll be cleanup around this area, trying to make sure that we can get rid of uh, the elves around here. And the Witch King Magmar is still going to be putting in, pushing into the Vale. I'm not going to be focusing on them as much. My focus is still on Dale and the Dwarves right now. That's top priority out of all of these. Um, let's start the battle. I just need to move my guys up a little bit closer, I would say. Skirmishers... And then I'll grab... I only have the one cab unit, actually. I can grab all my infantry. Put you guys up. Uh, just kind of get a little bit closer. Right there, and right there. And then wars right there. Okay. Catapult, I'll move you up a little bit. Start the battle. I'll have you guys be aggressive. And then see how you do. It's just fire arrow towers. I'm going to hope you're okay. Start trying to break down the gates. We don't have any siege equipment. We have to push through with the, can the uh, catapults. So hopefully you guys are okay from here. And you're not going to have it so that the catapult is destroyed. I think because the fire arrow towers, it's okay. If there's a chance, but I think you guys should be fine. There we go. Gates are down. I'm going to have you pull back a little bit now. Let's start rushing forward with my infantry. I'm going to tell currently, at the moment, some of uh, just my weaker guys. Let's have you kind of rush on in. Kind of send the weaker units in first, uh, expecting them to kind of die. I want you to try and see maybe... If I move you off to the side a little bit more over here, or actually what I could do, because at the moment, my one ally's over here. We've got uh, Shifos. He is trying to break down the walls with his catapults. Uh, Zagar does not have anything, so he'll actually be rushing on in here. I'm going to try and say, because there's not an... Uh, I'm going to bring you over here instead, actually. 
Let's try and bring you guys... I don't have enough a ammo to break down a wall section, but I might be able to break down this section. So I'm going to try and bring my catapult over this way. I'll have some of my men, a couple of them at least, push on in here, start trying to kill what they can. They're not doing anything just yet. Oh, nah, now they're. Now they're playing away. So yeah, I kind of keep rushing on in here. Basically, it'll be because a guard will probably rush on in this section. We'll help him out around here. But then I'll have it so that I'll actually be bringing my stuff over to try and break this section down. I even want to bring my archers and skirmishers over this way too, actually. Because they're not going to be able to really do much from this side. And then I think maybe, um, you know, these units here, these three, I'm going to bring you along over here as well so you can try and flank. Okay, you guys have been able to make some pretty good work over here, and we've been able to kill one of the enemy generals. Three left, I don't remember which one that is, I think it's probably one of the guys that has a smaller uh, unit count. Uh, catapults, you're now in range, start trying to, oh, those are not owned many, never mind. I was about to start breaking those down, but let's start bringing my guys in here to start capturing the city center. Because I have some men currently there, let's bring you over there. Along with all my archers too, also my wargs. Uh, they have a couple guys, I can kind of flank them over here. Let's try and have you go over this way. So yeah, that's the Elven King's bow guard. So they think it's probably one of the yeah, guys with the lower entity counts. Although this could technically be one of the captains, the generals right here. Actually, it looks like it might be. So it looks like this Woodland of Sentinels is one of the generals. There's another one in the city center right here. Who I'm trying to send my axemen after. Uh, I'm gonna try and have it. So let's bring my let's bring Ganon Tan. Have you try and help out with these uh, gates? I hate. Uh, these guys got, like, stuck on the walls, and I can't actually kill them. But, hey, there we go. We captured the city center. They did a lot of damage with the towers because of that. So a third of my army overall did die. Not the worst, though. We still have a decent amount of men alive that we can use to go push towards their capital. If I remember correctly, though, there's only one area to siege from. I don't think I can use multiple armies to attack Thranduil's halls. I don't believe so. Which would be pain in the ass if that's accurate. I'm hoping it's not. And I'm hoping I am able to try and rush on in there with multiple armies. Because, man, I know it has a unique model. I know that city for sure has a unique model uh, out of all the lands that they have. And I think I am a turn, maybe a turn or two away from it that I can get to it. Because um, I know you guys just got here, so we won't be able to move out really that much this turn. But we'll be there soon. There we go. Yeah, it weighs about half stack right now. Just exterminate the puppies again. Because right now, like there's a gar. Yeah, next turn he can start sieging it. And it is a river. Yeah, there's a river right here. I think I can go around from the other side, but it'll take more time to get in position. Get I think at least. So let's have you guys kind of merge men together. Uh, I will try and say... No, I had some guys coming from get down around here. Fighting. I'm gonna have you make your way up here. Because you're down about, yeah, five units, so kind of group up with Zagar, I'd say. You kind of group up with Zagar, you're down about two units. Um, Shifos, I think, is okay. Just make sure around here, keep grabbing the Shrine of Melkor, I would say. And then just keep moving all these men forward. I'm one turn away with you guys. I can view right about there. And then, let's see, they No, they didn't, still didn't. Okay, so that's more, they have more men. Fuck. So just bringing more and more down this way. Okay, uh, what I can do, though, is I do know around here, I actually have a lot of men around here, since, again, they're not really doing much around here. So I'll just keep bringing some more men around over here, keep gathering them together. Rohan is kind of starting to siege around here, but they're not doing a lot really right now. They might attack? Oh, come on, Gondor. Can't you let me please get to the elven stuff, please? Like, come on. Oh, also, yeah, if I actually have you guys sitting there, I can actually have you as reinforcements. Sure, fuck it, why not? Because now we're going to have it so that, hey, again, two armies. Okay, they have some ballistas. I do care about that. Uh, and another ballista there. Okay, so I do care about the ballistas. Let's get into this, fight this, and get rid of Gondor once again. Get another round of crowdfunding possible with Sauron, ideally. Making another 25k would not be bad, honestly, if I could. So, we'll push my, we'll pull my men back again, uh, waiting until I can try and see if I can pull them over to the bridge uh, and over to my side as they have the two ballistas in this army. Um, the other ballista, as soon as I'm able to get my cab across to the other side, I can easily take out once again. I, mean, I just love that they keep throwing their men this way. Like, Sauron is just the bastion of this river right now. Like, I should rename it. Oh, I also have another patrol catapult in here now, too. I love that. Okay, so you guys, yeah, line up back here. I'd say, like, right about there. Ballista's right about here. And then my archers grab all of you guys. Put you up in front of the ballistas, right about there. 
And then my infantry, again, I'll kind of have it so that you guys are going to be kind of chilling back here. And I do have the Ola guy too here. I don't know if I'm really going to be using them too much in melee, but hey, I fucking have them now. Uh, then Cav back here as well. Sauron behind all my catapults for right now. Wait until we can see what they're going to do with all their forces. Because for right now, if I can get them close enough that I can try and hit them with my artillery pieces, that'd be great. I should actually make sure that I have you guys all fire will and flaming arrows. The ballista's right here. I'm not close enough to be able to hit it, sadly, at the moment, but we'll see if we can later. Perfect. They're actually trying to bring their ballistas across the bridge now. I'm going to have my artillery pieces keep unloading for a little bit longer. They're not fully committing to the fight just yet, so we'll kind of wait a little bit longer until I can have them properly be all blobbed up. Because you guys right now, these are just all archer militia right here, so I don't expect much from you guys. They've already lost 4% of their army already just from being shot at, and now they're running away. So I'll try and have it so that my cap here, you can pretty easily start unloading on them. I think artillery pieces, let's have you guys cease fire for a second. Stop firing, please. Please stop shooting, shooting my guys. I need to have it so that for now, let's have my cap take over and run them down. Seems like they're kind of waiting for the reinforcements to fully commit. Like, half their army's been kind of waiting back here. So I haven't been able to get my cab over as much as I would like. Uh, I'm going to have it so that my cab, though, you are breaking down these archer militia. Just keep running them down. Uh, plus about a percentage of my forces to 18 of their own. I'm going to try and run in here in a second with my cab to try and hit them and see if I can flank them and break them. Just run these guys down first. So I'm still going to have Sauron wait a little bit until he starts unloading. Uh, catapults and ballistas doing well with the amount of ammo they're using on up. Not as blobbed up as I would like them to be, but it's not that bad. We have Cap running in here, try and see if you guys get a charge in on the Gondor infantry and these pike hands. Yeah, far farm hands are breaking. The Gondor infantry is holding. I do feel like they're losing. They do feel shaken. So far, they've lost 22% of the forces overall, so that's about like half of the original army that's uh, here at the moment. So if I just get a little bit more. I can probably start screaming. Honestly, I could probably scream right now. No, I don't think I need to. I, don't, I do not think I need to scream right now. We can basically just save it. Just get to my cab and kind of back up here a little bit. Have you guys get another charge into these Gondor inventory. I then think they'll break at that point. Because most of these guys right here have already broken. So I don't think I need to waste a scream on them when they're already breaking just because of my catapults. And possibly recharges? No, nope, I did not break from that recharge. These pike hand, though. I think you charge them, they'll break. Steady. Uh, actually. Okay, shaken. Wavering. You gonna shatter? You're close. You're very close. Okay, let's pull back a little bit. Kind of pull back over here. Because I really want to get those. Oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna break up. Yeah, that, that right there. All those artillery pieces. Please stop shooting my own guys. Okay, I'm going to have you guys uh, stop firing for a second. You're kind of picking my own targets on my own units. Okay, my guys have done enough damage. I think right now I'm actually going to actually going to tell... Okay, enough damage has been done. Then I'm going to start telling my infantry to start rushing into melee. Same thing with my catapults. And then I'm going to start screaming. You guys can stop firing as you've practically used up all of your ammo at this point. Sauron that now. Just waiting to just one moment. Basically, like, you guys run over here. Get into melee with them, and then Sauron scream, please. That should shatter the entire enemy army. Yes, it does. Okay. Now we can try and have it, so we're going to push on forward, capture all these guys. Uh, they're not shattering just yet on the enemy reinforcements, not all of them. But hey, I have another scream ready, so we can send that in any time now. But just get everybody to start running all these guys down from the first army. 13,000 or 1,300 have already had to be captured. 9 to 54. So once these guys are all dead, they've got a couple guys over here, like, few... They have a lot of cab, actually. A lot of cab. A couple guys over here. I'll wait until they fully commit to a fight, until I start screaming again. But for the most part right now, this is actually pretty fine, I'd say. Just start continuing to rush on into them. Just capture all these guys. Okay, let's see. I see a blob of Gondor Spearmen. Uh, please don't hit Sauron. Uh, I'm not gonna risk it. Not gonna risk it. Not gonna risk it. Not gonna risk it. I got one shot off now. Run away. That's too close for comfort. That was way too close for comfort. That one shot they got near you. No. My cab is already almost fucking dead. Wow. Seriously, I just got these guys, and you're all. Oh, you're actually fighting a pike unit for some damn reason. You shouldn't be. Uh, Cause like you guys right here, yeah. Try and fight that pike unit. Try and kill him. Infantry, let's get you back over here. Cav, try and get... You're supposed to be running away from that guy, please. Try and run away from him. Infantry, try and get you back over here. 
Because at the moment, I just need to get them all to group up enough that if I scream, they'll all break. Because at this point, we've won, effectively. I have one more scream left. I just don't like that their ballistas are still alive. I wasn't able to get my cab over to the other side to try and get rid of them. Alrighty, there we go. So now we've been able to hold them at bay once more. 2400 captured. We'll have to see how much money I'm going to get from that. Did kill the Magic 85, but that's not bad. So we'll try and see if they'll actually accept the ransom offer this time. And if we have another successful bout of crowdfunding for Sauron. Let's see, you got about another 20,000 here. Will they accept it? Nah, no, damn it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I, I do kind of hate how my cap took a fucking beating there. And I just, I just sent one guy, at least he's fully retrained this next turn, so I can kind of switch him back out with the one that I just put into Sauron's army. Um, I do probably need to make sure that, I, th I think I need, I might have a bit too much artillery pieces. <laughs> I think three troll catapults is probably the most I should go with. Four maybe kind of seems like a bit much. I think two ballistas is fine, but I think about five units of artillery in general, I think that's a good number to strive for. And man, we are actually doing a decent number on Gondor there. Slowly but surely we are. Laidholt, yes, I'll accept that. New mission, take Fenholm. Uh, I'm not going to take Fenholm right now. Not at the moment, at least. Let's see. Let me go back down to Sauron. I want to check on him first. So That's Sauron. Oh, it's actually, it's already merged them into two. Okay. Uh, I think what we're going to do is... Ooh, I do have you guys here. Oh, yes, got those oh. archers. Grab those archers there. <laughs> I just fucking retrain these guys. Oh, I hate this. Okay. But we can at least grab that one. I can't retrain the other one just yet. But what I can do if I really want to, make it so they're a little bit easier to retrain, bring you back over here if I merge you two, then I can retrain them. Then I can bring you uh, back over here. So at least have one in that army. Next turn, I'll have at least another. Um, then back up here. So let's see. So now... Right. You can get to Bjorn's Hall. Is there anybody outside? There is not. There's one tiny guy there. Okay. Let's have you start sieging this little one here. Go up there, there, and there. You, you guys are good. Now let's see. So, the guard we're going to move out with. Because you can get to the city. Is there not another avenue? Or do I have to attack from here? If I have to attack from here... Hmm. Okay, I'll move this army up. I'm going to move Galatan up. Fuck, and there he is right there. Oh god. Oh god. There's no other avenue, is there? Maintain that siege. Nope, there is not. Oh god. Okay, so let's do this then. I'll do that, that, and that. Um, I'm gonna leave behind you and you. And then if I, I lower the taxes, it's fine. Then bring you over here, in hopes that if they, if we end the turn, we'll be safe. Uh, I'll put let's see, two of these units into Ganaltan's army, the other two into Zagar's army. There we go. So now I'm sieging it. I may have to siege it for a couple turns. What's your bodyguard? That's a pretty easy bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. Those guys are also pretty good there. Quite a few of them too. These guys are not that bad. I know these guys don't have to worry about. These guys don't really have to worry about. These ones I kind of do. Honestly, I'm kind of expecting him to attack me during the end turn. Honestly, if he doesn't, I'll be surprised. I'll be genuinely surprised. Um, over here, though, I do have it. So, Balaknar Sunfire, you have a lot of beat the hell guys up. Uh, probably should say that like everybody that's really low, like these guys, you're all taken out of the army. I'm going to actually probably just leave you in this city, probably. Just kind of watch over it. Like, let's just leave the really beat up guys here too. So like you, 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 and yeah, I can just gonna move up. Boom, boom, here, and then can I load the taxes? I cannot right now. Okay, so I will have to wait until we move out of here specifically. But let's have you go back to the city. Hold off that for right now. I, I have to wait here because this is this is suicide. Yeah, a 50-50% chance for me against elves is not good whatsoever. So I'll do an end turn at some point. I'll try and see like what's going to go on with those guys. And I'm expecting them to sally out. That's kind of my expectation. Kind of said I don't have a here. catapult there to be able to push out to you guys. God, there's literally nothing else for me to do for this turn. It's literally just, hey, end the turn. See if they decide to attack me. If they do, then we'll fuck. Although, if it's actually going to be on a bridge battle, we might be okay. I've got one catapult there. I wish I had enough movement to switch out some of these guys because they'll give you running. But I think if they attack me on the bridge, you guys should be able to reinforce me. So, fuck it, let's see what's going to happen. Do an end turn. <sighs> I guess back. You 
guys are back. Fuck it, let's do this. I think we can do this. This time, at least. I need to just make sure. For you, the general is this thing. Listen. That's fine. That's, that's pretty easy. If I make sure I kind of utilize my trolls more like a cav unit and have them flank infantry units that are able to, uh, like, hold the enemy at bay, I should be able to start trying to just get them all to break, and then I can just start trying to run them all down. I'm going to save my ammo. I am not going to use my ammo until the reinforcing general gets here, and he's dead. Because that unit is still a skin changer. I'm not going to try and waste my ammo like I did last time. So let's go. Any reinforcements should be coming from over here. So I actually like this spot right here. I actually have some pretty decent infantry in here as well. So let's have you guys kind of line up here. Kind of form up. Guard position. And then javelins I think are fine. Javelins I think I will let you guys immediately unload. So you guys can kind of sit like right there. But then my archers, I'm actually going to have you guys kind of hold off. So like you guys can set up here. But fire will off for now. I'm going to have it so that my cab, my trolls, are going to be back here. First and foremost, I have to kill that uh, ballista as soon as possible. So I'm going to speed this up. Bring it along. They'll advance onto me. Uh, you guys hold off until we can make sure we kill that general. I'm going to have it so... Which came back more? Let's make you move on up. It's a ballista unit that we have to kill. Also, I'm just going to kill the cab too. Kill the cabs that they've got there. Ballista's right there. It's only got nine guys, so as soon as I charge it, that thing's dead. So if you go off to the side a little more, don't fully engage just yet. Wait until they commit to fighting us. Once again, I've actually got some pretty good infantry here. So, they do have their woodman tracker units. I'm gonna have, okay, I'm going to have two of my archers. Two of my archers will be active. I think that's enough that we can say, okay, you guys can shoot things. Uh, you're being shot at. Yeah, the bullets is trying to open up on you. Okay, so let's try and have you kind of run around. Go over there. Hit him. As soon as he's dead, this army should be pretty easy to break for the most part. Because they are just led by a captain. The other army is led by a good general. Pretty decent general. I think that's still their heir, if I remember correctly. I think I only killed the other uh, general they had last time, not their heir. So he should still be alive. You guys are all fancy forward. There you go. And then basically, once I'm done with the Ballista, I can deal with you guys with the Witch King of Angmar, which you're already shaking, which is actually pretty good so far. Ballista is just about to die any second now. Yep, he's dead. There we go. So he's now dead. Infantry. Let's have you guys yeah, keep holding as you are. Although, actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just run up to the Longbowman. Let's have you guys kind of run up there a little bit to try and be a little bit more aggressive. You guys go there like and this, there. The I'll have one troll off to the side here. One troll off to the side here. And then my archers, I'll move up a little bit to about here. Which can Angmar, you're not dead, they're not dead. Let's go pull out of here. Let's not fight these units they've got here. Those are, those are the Buring Warriors and some of the Cav. The Cav I don't mind fighting, but everybody else I need to kind of ignore right now. I actually want to get them into melee combat and then start trying to harass them. So let's bring you back around this way. Where the hell are you? There you are. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Go around this way. Who the hell are you fighting? You are fighting some of their cab for whatever fucking reason. Okay, you guys fight those Veilmen if you want. I'm talking about my cab back over to here. I'm gonna have you try and hit those Veilsmen right there. Number wise, the 66. Not the best. You guys do a lot of damage. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Uh, fight the cab, I guess. I don't want you really to, but I guess I have to. Against a cab unit, you should still be able to kick its ass. Oh yeah, there you go. I'd rather you guys kind of fight things uh, flanking them, but I guess this is what we're going to have to go with. Okay, these guys are all breaking. Break the Balesman. I'm going to try and scream as well. Try and see if I can get any of them to just break. Oh man, so many of them are wavering. Okay, Ola guy. I'll see if you kind of run on here. Try and go to this spot. This area is about to break. There you go. There you go. Yeah, run all these guys down now. A couple of them are still fighting. Run him. Yeah, I'll have it so that I'm going to have my cav run all of you guys down. Are they even advancing on me? At the moment, no. Okay, so now the reinforcements are here. Again, I'm not going to use any of my ammo until I have killed their uh, general here. So let's move you guys up to kind of push them back a little bit. Let's kind of move my units here a little bit too. And then you guys as well to about there. Just try and push these skirmishers back a little bit until I'm in range and I can shoot the general. Because the skin changers, there's only 38 of them. I've got four units full of ammo. Hopefully that's going to be enough that we can easily kill them because they do not have a shield stat. So let's get you guys right there. Everybody else is supposed to be kind of running in position. You guys should now... Where the 
hell they went. Uh, skin changers. There you go. So, unload on the skin changers. You need to kill him. As soon as he's dead, then I can just let you guys just go free on whatever you're going to try and shoot. Then, I need to do is bring you guys back over this way. As basically right now, I'll have it so you guys... You don't have any ammo, so I'm going to bring you up here. I'll have it so you'll try and flank on this side. I'll have it so that you guys will try and flank on the other side. Because I do really like using you guys like glorified uh, infantry or cab units. Skin changers at 38. Still haven't lost anybody yet. Because you guys don't have any shield stat. Yeah, no shield stat, so that's the best. They have a lot of armor, though. That is true. So we just have to hope this is enough. If anything, I've got to be softening them up. So, again, let's just have you guys... Let's have you try and go for the horse archers, and then start trying to flank around here. All of these guys... Yeah, should go into the attack that woodland warrior unit, and then you guys can kind of flank them from behind. Capture the... Break this unit, and then just start overwhelming them. Because we do at least have the numbers. We do have numbers in this battle, as opposed to just having better quality. Let's see, you guys can beat those horse archers back. Deal with the calf here until I kill the general. Who's currently at 38 still. He's not dying. Not like that. I'm going to use another scream. You guys need to try and surround them there. Uh, I don't like how much damage this calf is doing. They can do a lot of damage to my calf. Let's look at those men coming in here. I need to pull you guys out of there. This is not a good place for you guys to be fighting right now. So pull back. So 23 to 54. Skin changers. Still haven't lost anybody. Seriously? I have done so many shots at you. Okay, come on, get out of there, guys. Pull out of there. How's this one unit doing? You kind of got him fully surrounded, but you're not really advancing in like I want you to. There you go. Now he's fully surrounded there. Oh, come on, I need to kill him. He's, he's, you've lost one. You've lost one guy as I've been shish pelting you with arrows. Holy shit, that's an overpowered unit. I fucking love it. I want to fight. I want to fight as that unit. Okay, now that my guys aren't being chased by their cavalry and everything, I'm going to try and, br again, bring you guys over to the side. I'm going to be pissed if I don't win this. I've killed seven of you. I've been shooting you endlessly with these four units, and you've lost seven guys. Fucking die, dude. Holy shit. Like, I honestly think, like, these guys right over here... Virtuous, they're not really breaking. I'm gonna try and help out on this side. So try and help out with these cav units here so we can try and get somebody to help out around this side. Number wise, 47 to 71. Skin changers, they're losing a little more. They've lost eight now. Like, you guys have gotta be getting close. 28, there we go. That's starting to do a little bit better. And now you're interrupting my archers with your goddamn cavalry, you fucking assholes. Okay, you guys are over here doing better. Like, I'm gonna bring you over this way. Start trying to help out with my front lines. You guys, I'm gonna try and go right here. Try and support that section. Actually, all four of you, actually. Like, you four. Kind of try and go right here, support those guys. Then, Angmar. Fuck, man, I did not realize. I was. I always thought the veil was a joke. Um, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. The veil is not a fucking joke. They can destroy shit. Ah, oh, they're not attacking me here, too. Still, fucking 28 of them. I have not done a damn dent in that unit. I've been shooting them this entire time and still no dent. Okay, you guys, let's have you deal with the skirmishers. Try and deal with the skirmishers. You guys are trying to go after them. Also, all my units at least should be not using uh, guard position now at this point. Try and go there. You guys just try and run down the skirmishers. Skin changers, I tried shooting them as much as possible. I'm just gonna have to hope that maybe now with me blanking them, that'll be enough? Because I am not going to be able to kill that skin changer unit that easily. Fuck, the Witch King is just too low now at this point. He can't do anything. Like, it's 50-50. My guys are trying. They're trying their goddamn best here. Uh, the skin changers, what are they at? They're still. Oh, uh, and you guys aren't going to break until then. Ah, uh, I'm going to try. I, I, the Witch King of Angamar, I'm honestly might die. Um, from this? I want to hope not. But at this point in time right now, like, I'd get lucky. I'm going to try. I don't know if else is going to work, but I'm going to try and first, let's regroup you guys. Uh, fuck this unit that's chasing me. First, get rid of that guy if you can. Come on, try and flank them. Let's see, you are trying to fight around here. The skin changes are still 20. If I can get a good charge in on the, those guys, with my uh, older guy and the Witch King Vangmar, 
might have a chance. I just need you guys to stop chasing me. You guys are very persistent, honestly. Like, let's get away from them again. Come on, run away, run away, run away. Ignore them. How the fuck do they keep up with a cab unit and my inventory? Fuck you. Um, again, let's try and make my way over. I'm gonna try, if I can get, I'm gonna try one charge. I have enough men that I have one good charge can do it. I also have one more screen. If I can kill the, the air with my charge, we have a chance. If I cannot kill him with this charge, we lose. As it's starting to tip in their favor now. Skin changers are right here. They're 27. I have to hope. I have to fucking hope that I kill him in this charge. If I don't, I'm going to withdraw. I'll just keep the Ola guy alive as best as I can, along with the Witch King Vangmar, and I'm gonna have to make another fucking army. So I'm just gonna scream now, honestly. Try and make the break, possibly. Skin Changers have been pushed down to 23. Angmar, you pull out of there. Which King Angmar, you get out of there, because you're not going to be able to really do a ton of damage. It's more the Ola guys, see what they can do. Because if you can't kill him, I don't know what fucking can. Well, it's down to the last Ola guy. God fucking damn it! I never realized I would be hating the Veil so fucking much. Like, seriously, these Skin Changers are fucking disgusting. Like, you guys are trying. I I'm gonna start withdrawing off the map now with the Witch King. I could if I really want to be a cheeky son of a bitch. The battle timer's almost up. I'm on the defensive. I can run around. And technically... Like, they can't kill me in three minutes. Will I actually be able to run off the map before that? No, I will. This is just the question. Do I be a bitch or do I not be a bitch? Let's see, how far do you get in the two minutes? It's so close. Like, if I just divert for a second, I, I fuck it. <laughs> fuck the veil. Fuck the veil and everything they stand for. Because literally, this was actually, this was not a bad army. The archers weren't amazing, true. But I did, I threw, I literally, I was focusing down the skin changes as much as I could, and I still got my ass kicked. Still. Like, God fuck it. I think he might actually still survive, technically. And I don't know if I'll actually get the city, but hey, the, that damage is fucking staying. Nope, we do just get to walk in. Fuck you guys. Start this fucking place. God damn it. I feel like shit that I'm doing that. But god damn. I bled for that fucking city. So goddamn much. And now, okay, the Woodland Realm, let me siege there. Okay, that's at least something for us. Okay, I do think I'm going a little bit further along than I would have liked. Um, I do think I'm going to, Council Master's dead, um, be done for today. Damn, right, I'm sieging that now. Free has fallen. Interesting, very interesting. But I do believe we're going to be done for today. I'm going a little bit longer than I would like. But hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any other thoughts you have on it in general? This is Rampane, I'll see you guys next time.